friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Awilda, and if you're new here, this is Sip and Creative, where I share motivational videos in cleaning, organization, DIYs, home renovations, and more. In today's video, we're going to be tackling the kitchen. I'm going to be scrubbing down the sink, the microwave, the stove top, and uh, just pretty much doing some general cleaning. So most likely, I'm not going to be talking through the whole video. I'm just going to be sharing a couple of things here and there. So let's just jump into it and get started. So as you can see here in this drawer, I'm just organizing a little bit of the uh, Tupperware that I have. I have a few items that were washed in the dishwasher from my kids that I just want to put away and make sure that they're all nice and neat and organized for the day. So I'm just trying to rearrange some lids and some of the Tupperware. Now before I get into the cleaning part of everything, I'm just going through and putting away anything that was already clean in the appropriate drawers and cabinets just to make it easier. Obviously I don't want to clean things that have already been cleaned. I just want to make it as easy as possible to kind of just zip through everything and get everything as nice and clean and polished as possible. So on this particular day, I'm doing dishes by hand because um, I just like doing dishes by hand. This is something that I have always done growing up as a kid. We never had a dishwasher. I was a dishwasher. My sisters were dishwashers. My mom washed dishes by hand. We've never had a dishwasher. So um, sometimes I just like getting in there and really scrubbing things down and getting it nice and clean and then just wiping them dry and putting them away myself instead of uh, using a dishwasher. Although. I do have to say using the dishwasher is a lot more economical. You don't waste a lot of water or a lot of time because all you have to do is fill your dishwasher, pop in your dishwashing liquid or tab and go about your day. So, But today I thought I'd do dishes by hand. Right now, as you can see, I'm just clearing out the countertops, putting things back where they belong, and rearranging things to clean them up. But I did want to share with you this really cute little letter board sign that we um, have in our kitchen. Uh, my youngest, Ava, wrote a joke out, and every so often we'll change it out. So I wanted to share with you guys what she wrote. And it's actually really cute, so I thought it was fun. Now, as you can see here, I'm cleaning the countertops, but I'm also taking the same uh, cleaner and just wiping down really quickly the backsplash for any um, kind of residue that flies off from doing dishes or cooking. Uh, sometimes, if you ever notice, the backsplash does get a little dirty. So, especially having a white backsplash, you tend to notice splatter more often than if it was just a darker backsplash. It might be just me, but I, I tend to notice it more dirtier now than it was when I didn't have a light backsplash. Now here I just cleaning out the sink and it's a good scrubbing especially where this sponge holder is I noticed that it does accumulate a little bit of the mildew so every so often I will take it off the sink and scrub it down really really well and then just pop it back into the side as well as cleaning down the sink and sides as well.
I'm just showing you guys that I clean off my grids. I just spray it with some clean solution and kind of take my sponge and scrub down all the edges and try to get as much as that uh, mildew buildup that it gets every so often. I absolutely hate that the gets the buildup, but I also like how it protects the surface of my um, sink. Like I feel like without it, it would scratch the surface of my sink. So it does protect the surface. It's just the cleanup maintenance is a pain in the butt. As you can see through most of the video here while I clean my sink, I am using Dawn dish soap to clean the sink. I just think it's a really good cleaning solution. It gets all that build up and all the oils and whatnot from the sink. And I don't find too many products that I like that does a deep clean like Dawn does. And I am not sponsored to say this. <laughs> Here I'm just showing you how this sink strainer tends to be a little bit gunky and disgusting and with a little bit of Dawn dish soap I'm just going in there with a scrubbing pad and just getting all the buildup that gets in there scrubbing it all down and it becomes nice and clean and polished. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me Now the inside of the microwave, I'm cleaning it here again with just a little bit of the um, Mrs. Meyers cleaning solution and just soaking it in for a few seconds and then wiping it down. I usually just put a cup of warm vinegar and some uh, essential oils or even uh, lemon but at this time I didn't have any of those. Um, I had placed an order for some and they haven't arrived so I was just cleaning it down really quickly using the Mrs. Meyers products. Here 
I'm cleaning the top of the microwave, but because it's hard for me to reach, I'm using a ladder, but then when I'm using my ladder, I have to kind of bend down and kind of look underneath and make sure I'm not missing any spots. So you can see me kind of stopping and dipping my head down and check it out. As you can see here, my stove top is really, really dirty. It has a lot of crumbs and food from last night's dinner. So I'm just going to go in really quickly and remove everything off the stove top before I uh, wipe it down and let it sit with some of that uh, Mrs. Meyers cleaning solution. Now I am going to be sharing a deep clean video sometime soon. I am working on doing that for you guys. Um, basically it's going to be a super deep clean in which I clean the t stove top, the grills, the oven, everything and just really give it a really good deep deep cleaning and kind of disinfect it from all the food and bacteria that grows when you don't do a deep clean. So I will be sharing that video sometime in the near future. So I hope you guys come back and check it out when I do release it. So for now, I'm just going to be doing a quick wipe down with a fresh rag and just getting all that oil and grease from those little crevices. So here I'm just going to be using this little scrubber from the Pampered Chef because I have a couple little pieces here and there that um, are hard to get out and um, since I'm trying to kind of quickly clean the stove top I don't want to whip out my um, extreme cleaners but I did want to just get some of the little specks of uh, grease buildup that's on the side of the stove. I do not recommend you doing this to your stove top if you have like a stainless steel or even even if you have a black stove top I'm just very very gently trying to clean off the surface but I don't like push down really hard because I don't want to ruin it with scratches and mess up my stove top but you can definitely do this if you feel confident enough that you're not going to ruin your stove Now here I'm just using another clean wet rag. It's not soaking wet, it's just damp and I'm just wiping down the stove top trying to get all the excess soap off and just wiping it down super quickly with just a clean rag and some warm water. So as I'm editing my videos, I noticed that my girls were getting snacks that day and uh, one of them decided to say a quick hello. So here she is saying hi. 
and um, honestly don't know which one it is. I'm guessing it's Alyssa, but I'm not sure. But Alyssa says hi. So here I'm just sharing with you guys the final results of cleaning the kitchen. Everything is nice and clean. I did forget to add my grills to the top of the stove but they were just sitting in the sink drying out and after I was finished filming I realized I didn't add that but they are all clean and fully assembled and ready to start our day. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please make sure to leave me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I would love it if you subscribe and if you have any other uh, motivational videos that you'd like to see definitely let me know in the comments down below and until next time guys i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one bye